Okay, this is the Jelly Beans game, and I got this idea from um, the Muggins Math Company. They actually make this game in a really nice wood board with marbles and stuff, but um, I had bought a few of their other games and wanted to save a little money, so I made my own here. Um, on theirs, they actually only have numbers 1 through 12, and I accidentally made a mistake and did two extras and didn't notice it till after I colored them in. So, um, so our board has 0, and then this is just a free space in case um, they can't make a move. They can fill in the free space. So if you want to make a board the way that the Jelly Beans game really is, you would do 1 to 12. So we have that. We have some Cuisinier rods here. And um, we have two little girls who are going to have good attitudes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so the first way you can play this game is to roll two dice. Haven, you have the dice? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll. Okay. She got a six and a five. So if you're using quiz and air odds um, and your child is first learning this, you're going to grab a six and a five rod. Haven, can you show me? You can do six minus five. Oh, okay, she's gonna do six plus five. And you would find what that is equal to. So the 11. child would see, oh, it's 11, so I can put then, one of the things right there. Yes. Or she could do six minus can I five. Multiply? And that's one. Not for this game, babe. Okay. So 6 minus 5 is 1. So do you want to put a marker on 1 or 11, Heave? I thought you could do it on both. That's for the next game. So you choose number 1 or number 11. Go ahead and put that little quiz. Which one would one. be the luckiest? <laughs> well, 11 might be more difficult to get later on in the game. Because you could subtract a lot of numbers to get 1. Okay. okay, it's Zoe's turn to roll the two dice. Six and six. Okay, so show me with quiz and rods, because this is for kids who are These two dice first are not learning. the same. Really? Yeah. yeah. Same as the times. Okay, so I know so. six plus six. Mm hmm. Okay, so she knows she I can, can either put one on 12 or, or 6 minus 6. I know that's just. Can you show that with the rod, though? 6 minus 6 doesn't leave you can't anything. You can't fit anything left. there. A 0. Alright, so which one do you so, want to do? You can only pick one or the other. Probably 12. Okay, yeah. Haven's turn. 5 and 5. And Okay, with the rods. I could do 10. She would do or this. Or I could do... 5 plus 5? 0. Or 5 minus 5. I'd rather do five. 10, because 0 is easy to get. Huh. Yeah, 0 is pretty easy to get, so yep. She's going to do a 10. All right, so... 4 plus 1 or 4 minus mm -hmm. 1? Yep, show it with the rod. 4 and 1. It's either 4 plus 1 okay. is 5. She could put or it on four the minus one, which is three. I think I'll do four plus which is five. Okay, we'll stop there for the video. So they would keep going. Oh, I don't even remember the exact rule of how you end the game. I think we you go. You end the game when all our spaces are filled in. When Whoever. somebody fills all the spaces? Yeah, yeah or when nobody can or when nobody can uh, make any more moves. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Unless however you want to do it to end the game. Okay, let's show the second way we can play this. So with the this next way involves a lot more problem solving and number manipulation. And um, uh, one full game is just one turn each. So Haven, go ahead and roll the dice. Can I use the dice now, Mom? Um, yeah, let's let Zoe go first. Go but ahead. Mom, you said David. I know, but I let you go first last time. Mm. Sorry. Oh, wait, look. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Zoe's going to go. 
All right, her numbers are one, five, and six. So the first thing she can do is put markers on the numbers down here, one, five, and six. They're not markers, they're ones. Well, they're marking the spot, so I'm calling them markers. Then she is going to find as many combinations, adding or subtracting these numbers, as she can to fill in more spaces. Five so. minus one. Okay, show me, show me with clues and arrows. Five minus one is four. Okay. So I can put one on four. And if your child doesn't need the quiz and air rods, then they, of course they don't have to use them. Six minus one. But this is to show for the ones who are five, just learning. But I already have five now. Yep. And then let's see here. I can do six plus five is eleven. And I can do six plus one, which is seven. Mm -hmm. And you can do. See, the don't let her find it. I can also do 6 plus 5, which is 11, minus 1, which is 10. So, okay. well, let me show that with these. 6 plus 5. Oh, you're doing it. Okay, 6 plus 5. Is 11. And then minus, minus one. 1. And put a 1. Well, yes, you could do it that way. Um, minus 1. The other way would be to do that and find what fits here. And that's a 10, of course. 10. So she's going to put mark on a 10. Six plus one minus five, that's two. Mm. So six, six plus, plus one, one is seven. Minus, minus five, five is two. So two. Okay, then do you get how this works? Five, I uh, don't know. Oh yeah, I can do that. What? Five plus one minus six. Five mm. plus one is six. Mm. Minus six is zero. <coughs> I wouldn't do one or zero. Those are easier. Okay. Also, <laughs> if you need to get them. So that's how this works, and then Haven would take her turn once Zoe's done, and whoever has the most filled up, most of their numbers filled, uh, would be the winner. All right, I'm going to teach Sage this game, and we'll see how it goes. You ready, Pickle? Mm-hmm. Okay, you and your baby going to play it? Baby's taking a nap. Baby's taking a nap. Okay, well, this game is called Jelly Beans. Can you put it up on the table, please? Thank mm -hmm. you. Now I'm gonna let you go first. Can you roll the two dice? Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. Okay, what numbers did you get? Hmm. Four and six. Four and six. Can you get a four rod and a six rod? Yes, it is. And... <laughs> Bless you. Where's a four? And nine oh, and up here. There you go. Okay. So, put those down in front of you. You can either add them together or you can subtract them. What do you want to try first? I need to put these in the thing. You need to put them in the thing? In the circle. Oh. Well, you'll see what we're going to do with the circles in a second. So, look at your four rod and your six rod. Oh. Can you add those together? It's a T. It is a T. <laughs> what, does, what does plus mean? Plus means put together. Yes. Now, what is four plus six? Can you find out? Ten. It is ten. I just guessed. <laughs> you guess. Okay, so you could take one of these and put it on the 10 if you wanted to. See this? Mm -hmm. You could put it right there. Or, you know what else you could do? 
you could do six minus five. I mean four. What goes in here? What's six mm. minus four? Two. Yeah, the two goes in there. But there's not any two here. What? Oh, Haven, give us some twos, please. Okay. Thank you. Probably just two or three. No, one. One. No. Okay, well, one no. for this problem. Okay, one. Thank you. Okay, does a two fit in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to put this on the ten or on the two? You what choose. about the three? Well, we didn't make three with six and four. We could only make two or we could make ten. Okay, she's going to put it on the ten. Now it's mommy's turn. All right, what did I get? Mm, two, mm, two and four. Okay, here's a four and a two. Ready? I could do four plus two. That's six. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll put it on a six. I don't know yet. Or I could do four minus two. What goes in there? Aha, we do need another two, Haven. Okay. Thank you. Four minus two is? Four. What did I fit in here? Four minus two is? Two. Two. So, do I want to put it on a six or on a two? Hmm. Ooh. I'm going to go with six. I got two. I want two. You want two? Well, you can choose when it's your turn, okay? Okay. I'll All put right. it back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, Sage's turn. Roll the dice again. Two and two. Oh, two and two. Get two twos. Yay. That's a lot for her. Please okay. give me two more. I think that you're good with that. What's two plus okay. two? Show me, show me two plus two. Remember we put them together on the, the skinny <laughs> end? Step, yeah. step, step, step. Okay. Okay, so what is two plus two? I think it's three? Hmm, not three, huh? Four, 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 four. Does that work? Uh-huh. So you could put it on a four, right? So here's your first choice. Or... You can do two minus two. Do you know how we'd set that up? Mm -mm. Remember for minus, we put them together. One on top of the other. Mm. And we find what fits in the space. But, uh-oh, there's no space there to fill anything in, is there? Mm -mm. So we can fit nothing there. What's nothing? What's our math word for nothing? We need a four. <laughs> this is tricky, tricky concept here. Um, Yay. yeah, that's right if it was four minus two, but you know what? You rolled two twos. What's two minus two? What nothing. can I fit in the space? What did you just say? Nothing. What's our word for nothing? Yeah. That's right. So your other choice is zero. So do you want to put it on a four or a zero? Zero. Zero? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think about this game? Fun. Should we keep playing? Mm -hmm. Okay.